Further observation has revealed that part of the growing canker will be traced to homes and the largity with which some parents handle their children. We note with trepidation the deepening exposure of our children to the electronic media, mobile phones, and other gadgets that introduce them to these unacceptable practices. Our society appears to be too relaxed, allowing young people to accept anything and direction this media present. It is obvious that the many prosperity messages preached in the media that emphasize on how to acquire easy wealth and promote get-rich-quick attitude, procurement of visas, and the good things of life easily entice our youth and encourage them to join the sacred courts. The General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana is deeply worried over these developments and would therefore propose the following antidote. A, the government, Christian organizations, and educational authorities must open a serious dialogue for a common solution. B, faith-based institutions must consider drawing a serious code of ethics and practices that will serve as a way of curbing religious excesses and ensuring strong commitment to positive practices. Churches must also use the pulpit to alert congregants about the dangers of occultism. And C, society must develop a system that acknowledges and rewards hard work and shine mediocrity. Mm -hmm.